fourth base cabinet. And I'm gonna get her going. So I found the best way to work with IKEA is to be highly organized. Keep your instructions, your bits and pieces with each cabinet. Use a pen if you have to. And so, first thing is about IKEA is they like say don't use box knives. And the reason not to is because uh, the particle board, if you make the finish, you make the finish. And there's no recovery really from, the, from that. So what I usually do is just I diligently, you know, I wreck my manicure. I just plan on not having nice nails while I do this project. Or any Ikea build really, or anything with my hands. So it comes apart very nicely. You don't need a box knife or anything like that. Okay. Just gotta find the parts. Okay. There's the other one. Okay, I'm gonna try. hiding from me. Alright, so take this one apart. There we go. You know, it's really not for the faint of heart. you got to like have some stamina to do this. But, you know, just pretend like it's Christmas morning. And, um, just pretend like it's Christmas morning like 14 times over. Or probably 16, 7, I don't know. 110 times over, really. And there you go, voila. Then, the first thing, section. Section. This will be the fourth section cabinet that I built. Well, the, thir the third section cabinet that I built. Um, I'm getting quite good, quite fast. First thing I do is I kind of look through. Uh, it says, It says to work with two people, but if I had that luxury, oh man, wow, the things I could do. Um, here's your inventory list. I tend to trust IKEA. I don't really inventory. I trust. Um, I built, you know, seven cabinets, and it hasn't. They've never gone wrong. And so now, you get down to the nitty gritty. 